So I got my bike ready yesterday. I rode it. See outside how it's nice and sunny. Temperature is 39 degrees and the weather says 30% chance of rain and sleet today. I was gonna go out for a bike ride. Gonna take a ride to see now it says 30%, 30%. I don't really trust the weather too much, but Mother Nature's been very unsettling lately. I don't wanna take my bike out for a ride and get stranded on the rain and sleet. So I was going to take a ride down to uh, GameStop, being the, this year all my tax money went for bills. Uh, when I came back from, uh, from Colombia I had the unsettling news that my mom had passed and I ended up having to fly to Puerto Rico in an emergency and I had to end up buying, uh, borrowing the money for the plane tickets. And because it was such such a short notice, the plane ticket was like $800. So I borrowed it from my uh, stepdaughter. She had a credit card. She she loaned me the credit card to buy it. With my tax money, I ended up having to pay that back. And I having to put uh, gas for uh, for the heater and cooking oil. And cooking gas. That was another $400. So there goes my uh, my income tax money. The rest of the income tax, uh, buy stuff for the cars, uh, parts for the cars to get the cars up and going because need the cars. So this year my income tax money went only for bills so I didn't buy anything for myself or anything. <clears throat> my wife, uh, income tax, same thing, pay bills, she bought new tires for the car. Uh, I ended up buying uh, TPMS sensors for the Nissan because the light's been on for years. And the last time we went, we got tires on the car. Uh, the shop that we went to, they took all the old sensors out, and we didn't notice until we got home. We just thought that the car had a low, you know, tire pressure because the tire were new. So when I went to check, none of the tire, the sensors were on. We went back to the shop, and they have already throw them out. The guy just gave us like a twenty dollar discount, on twenty dollar credit. So I got new sensors. We got new tires on the car last week. Had the sensors put on. Halfway back to the house, the light came back on. the The tire pressure sensor light came back on. Turns out one of the sensors not right. I ordered new sensors to send this ones back. But now we had to go back to the shop that we got the the tires put on so they can take the old sensors out, put the new sensors in, blah, 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 blah. So all that being said, uh, I didn't get anything for myself this year. For, uh, for my birthday, I didn't get anything to myself. So I'm going to take a ride down to GameStop and buy me a, a used game. I, I love the Resident Evil franchise. I play Resident Evil 4, I play Resident Evil 5, 6, 7. So, uh, because now I have the PS4, I have Resident Evil 6 and 7 that I got last year. I got the Resident Evil 7 when I got the PS4. So I'm going to get used copies of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. And going to be playing for a little bit until I start working because... I can <laughs> so I'm gonna take a shower gonna shave and see you guys later been subscribed to the Dollar Shave Club I'm getting my blaze on the mail but I finally decided to to stop my subscription for one thing they charge you and they ship the blades out to you and it takes two to three weeks to get 
blades from where they at in Wisconsin where's in Wisconsin is uh, Kentucky takes three weeks to get this from Kentucky to here in the mail I can ship a letter from China and it'll get here faster than this get here in the mail and it's sent to regular mail I don't know I don't understand what the deal is and I was gonna subscribe to uh, Gillette online to get the blade shipped but guess what they don't ship to PO boxes and since I'm moving from here uh, where I'm moving to the mail doesn't deliver to houses you have to have PO box so um, I'm screwed <laughs> I'm gonna have to start going back to the store and buying my blades or I'll just resubscribe to the Dollar Shape Club and just take it up the butt and just order them and wait until they show up and just make sure I always have a blade extra the blades are really good I've been subscribed for almost two years now and the blades are pretty good but the problem the only problem is they take forever to get here sucks all right that was a little kind of like a little rant on the Dollar Shape Club and by the way it's not a dollar this pack of uh, four blades is ten dollars uh, $9.99 shipping is free and if you get the one dollar blade one dollar is the little small tiny little blade with one one razor in it which is good only for like women shaving their legs so <laughs> yeah Dollar Shake Club is not really a dollar so here I'm going I'm on my way to GameStop I'm gonna stop first at the bagel stop bagel shop and get me a bagel cream cheese and coffee I think I uh, make the right decision by not taking the bike because clouds are rolling in very slowly uh, temperature just dropped like 10 degrees in a matter of minutes and uh, I've been battling this cold so I don't want to get stuck in rain in my bike so uh, yep it sucks that's why you can that's what I say you know weather is unpredictable spring is unpredictable so yeah go ahead pull right in front of me and I'm filming you it's a town truck too so I decided not to stop at the big old shop I got leftover spaghetti that I made the other day so I figure I'm gonna go directly to GameStop get my game come back home eat up the spaghetti and have a hot lunch instead of a late breakfast or early lunch whatever it may be. I think by the time I get back it will probably be 11.30 or almost 12 o'clock. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so here I am in front of GameStop. There, GameStop. I'm gonna get my game and head back home. Probably put this video together and upload it really quick while I play Resident Evil 4 Resident Evil 4 I played that game back with uh, my first PS2 I had a modded PS2 I bought a mod chip what they call a mod chip that you install on this thing and you can play downloaded games yeah 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 let's say I I rented it from Blockbox, Blockbuster. Back in those days, there was this stores that you go in and you rent videos. Yeah, most new, uh, most people nowadays think that Netflix is uh, how people used to watch uh, videos before. But no, there was a store called Blockbuster. You go rent videos and rent games. So I rented the Resident Evil 4 game and copied it, <clears throat> borrow it, 
and uh, kept it and returned the original back to the store. And that's how I played it. Yep, Resident Evil 4. That's the game that turned me into the franchise. I didn't like the ones before it, but 4, 5, 6, and 7, they're awesome. Alright, so I got my game, Resident Evil 4 HD, remastered. I can tell you how much fun I had when I had the original, when I played the original on the PS2. A, uh... They uh, they speak Spanish in the game, so I was it was an advantage to me because I speak Spanish, and I can understand everything they were saying. Like when they were about to attack you, they tell you in Spanish, "Behind you, you dope," and then you know if you don't know Spanish and you don't know what they're saying, but because I knew Spanish, I'll turn around and just get them. So it's really really fun, really fun game. So I'm heading home now. I'm gonna head home. Gonna heat up my lunch and start gaming on.